K-pop is everywhere. It dominates the music charts, TV, and social media posts. And the start of its meteoric rise can be largely credited to one man, Suman Lee. He began his career as a singer in the 70s, but music production was his main calling. And by the new millennium, his agency, SM Entertainment, was publicly listed. Its acts such as H.O.T., S.E.S., and BOA were dominating Asia's music scene. Suman Lee was a pioneer developing a strategy he called culture technology, in which he would recruit, train, produce, and market acts to a global audience. It wasn't without critics who claimed it was too manufactured and that it put too much pressure on its often young performers. Still, the hits continued and acts such as Girls' Generation, Red Velvet and EXO were going global. Believe it or not, I was a famous superstar myself. I am not sure you'd know. I was an idol. I became a singer when I was 19. And though I was famous, I realized that audience was really quiet when I sang, because I sang folk songs. But when foreign bands came to perform, they completely took over the stage, and fans went wild. When I went to check out the concert, it seemed like the fans are more enthusiastic than mine. I got jealous too. It occurred to me that singers overseas are welcomed in Korea, but Korean singers were not loved in other countries. As I studied in the United States, I learned a lot and thought it would be nice to promote Korean songs and singers overseas. That's the start.